Welcome to Techie Check Exchange Server 2016. In this video, we are going to create security groups and dynamic distribution group. Guys, please subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos, and you can check for later videos in a playlist for complete Exchange Server training. So let's get started. Now I am on a Exchange Server, and let's see the Active Directory first. I have created a organization unit by the name of help desk and we have a two user inside it as a Roger and Thomas so let's go and create a security group with our exchange admin center let's log into the exchange admin center and in a previous video we have created the group by the name of sales team members and you can see the group type is distribution group and email address is sales team at techiject.com right now we are creating our security group uh, right now we are creating the security group how we can use it we will check that in a later videos so just focus on how to create it and it's not a big deal to create that you can just type the display name I'll type the display name as a help desk team and the same as a alias and the organization unit I will put this in a inside help desk organization unit and I want to make one more owner for this help desk that is Roger I will click on add and click on OK. Now Roger and administrator are the owner of this security group and other members for this group will be Thomas. I will add Thomas and will click on OK. and owner approval is required so this is not a group like a distribution group uh, if we uh, select the open option so anybody can join the group or leave the group and in this group I am selecting the owner approval is required so no one can join the group by its own the permission of a owner is required so if you see the group type is now here it's a security group and the another one is the distribution group distribution group now we see uh, how to create the dynamic distribution group if you see uh, here we have a option for only the following recipient types because uh, in this group you do not add the members uh, by selecting them they have to be automatically added in this group for example I have shown you the custom attributes if you have a custom attributes like you have an audit for you have an audit department and all the user inside the audit have a mailbox and inside those user you have set the custom attributes as an audit and here you can use that custom attributes like audit and all the users having the custom attribute as an audit will be automatically added to this group so let's try to create this one and I will organization unit I will do this time as sales owner will be the administrator and the member user with exchange mailbox and add rule with the name of department that is sales and click on add click on ok now we have the department as a sales and administrator is a owner and display name is sale so let click on save if I go and refresh it you can see the sales now we have a security group we have a dynamic distribution group we have a distribution group 
let's see the contacts as well if I click on add mail contact this is a contact like it's a, a just a contact for a person who is outsider like it's a contact for a outsider person like you can see the name will be like example John and Elias will be John and it has an external email address that means uh, the John is only a contact like if someone want to send an email to a vendor like uh, you have a vendor there uh, who is not a user inside your active directory and uh, insiders like the user who are working inside the organization they want to send email to their vendors and they are outsiders they have an email address uh, as a outsider e external email address if you send that email to that uh, this address it will be uh, sent to that vendor so it's a kind of a email address for a user who has an external email address so you can type example like john at gmail.com okay so it is now saved the mail contact has been saved as a john and let me click as a mail user mail user is something like uh, if you have a person inside your organization having an email address that is an external email address like you have a organization and the uh, the person is having his personal email and you want uh, to send the email to that particular person and he want to receive that email in in his personal email as well so that we can create a new mail user whenever we will send a mail to a new mail user you can use a feature for forwarding whenever someone will send a email to this user that email will be forwarded to its personal email address and that will be a external email address so let me type here uh, as a Patrick and the uh, external email address is patrick at gmail.com want to assign a user I say it's a jack and we'll click on save that means the Jack is a display name and the Patrick is an email address that means if someone send email you have to set the email forwarding to this uh, address because if someone will send the email to the Jack and that can be forwarded to this one that means the Active Directory user carrying a external email address that is called as a mail user and now the resources mailboxes and the shared mailboxes we will be covering in our next video and after that we will be checking our email flow by sending some emails to our users and groups so guys please subscribe the channel for more coming update videos